Okay guys, uh, trying to make a video today. Uh, I'm out chiseling ground. Uh, looking down here at the ground, it's still bone dry. Went over this, I don't know, about a half an hour ago. And she's drying out. So uh, farming, there you can see the trees in the valley. They've just, they've barely started leafing out. Uh, where are we at today? We're at about the 26th of April. So the time here, we're about a month, month later on tillage operations than we would normally be. Last week we got our first real rain of this year and it was 35 hundredths of grain, 35 hundredths of rain. So farming, like my uh, daughter has a saying, it's not all butterflies and rainbows and unicorns or something to that effect. But to make a long story short, we're having to make some very hard decisions. I'm not filming in the tractor because the tractor was jumping around horribly. I tried to show you my speedometer there. I'm moving about uh, 3.4, 3.5 miles per hour. Uh, this was a field last year where we had wheat. We used red clover as a cover crop. And uh, I wanted to plant beans on this field this year. Uh, the ground is hard. We pushed the cows on it, ran the cows on it all spring during these couple little bitty showers and snowstorms we had. And Anyway, the ground is packed like concrete. And so I'm tearing up this first year clover and might be making a mistake probably since it's dry and if it's not going to rain the rest of summer I would have been money ahead to keep the red clover. Uh, rather than tearing it up because I might be wondering how I'm feeding my cows here in another month if it doesn't start raining but we're going to work it up and plant beans and so I'm going to make a split film here in the second half of this film I'm going to come back with the disc the ground is uh, you know it's fracturing because it's dry uh, but I need to seal in whatever moisture there is here uh, I don't think we're going to be subject to an erosion event. That would be a blessing in disguise, probably, if we had a three-inch rain. But uh, we need to prepare, continue to prepare for drought. And so the way we prepare for that is we uh, seal the moisture that's left in. And uh, I'll be coming back disking this here very shortly. And we'll make a little film of that. Okay, guys, I'm back with the disc. Uh, we're pivoting along. Not moving real fast. Got, got the RPMs down a little bit. Moving at about four and a half miles an hour. So the reason I'm disking this is to seal in those rips. You can see right where the chisel ran. And then right there is my last pass of the disc. Uh, the soil's good soil. It's brown soil. It has decent organic matter. And, uh, but running the cows on it and pushing the cows on it during the winter, uh, they have packed down and so when I came along with the chisel it was not fracturing like it normally does and it's leaving those you can see right where the chisel teeth run and so here we are with the disc trying to seal it down a little bit I will not work it to a powder I don't want to subject it to wind erosion uh, but I do want to work it down cover these rips kill all the clover uh, and then everything told, I'm not in too bad of a position because if it does rain, I will be able to come back out here with that aggressive field cultivator and in one pass have a, have a seed bed. So, thanks guys.